Well, the voice there of Cleo Lane, and that's that was I'm Still Here from Follies, um, in a, a CD that, that celebrates the music of, of, of Stephen Sondheim, and a show that does that as well, celebrates the, the music and the words uh, of Stephen Sondheim, is taking place throughout the week at the Hong Kong Fringe Theatre, opened yesterday evening, um, and is entitled Putting It Together. I'm delighted now to be joined by a member of the cast, Arvin Robles. Arvin, are you with us? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for getting up um, at this uh, rather unsociable hour. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. And uh, because I know that you opened yesterday, how did it go? It was a, a, it was a fantastic opening last night. Um, we had a sold out crowd and uh, the show went extremely smoothly and uh, uh, people reacted very, very positively to the show. It was just um, extremely exciting to finally share what we've been working on for the past couple of months with the, with the public. So it was a thrilling opening and um, we're looking forward to the remaining five shows until Saturday. Well, this, it's entitled Putting It Together and I think it draws from a number of um, shows, doesn't it? How, what is Putting It Together? Putting it together, um, Stephen Sondheim has humorously called this a review. Not so much an R-E-V-U-E -E review, but an R-E-V-I-E-W, where, um, uh, where the audience is supposed to mull it over. Now, structurally, the, the, the show has a, has, a, has, a, has a slight narrative where we see the parallel relationships of two different couples, one older, successful couple throwing this luxurious uh, weekend for guests at their husband's getaway, and uh, another younger couple sort of discovering whether or not they can actually get together. Um, so we see these two parallel stories um, observed by a narrator who's sort of like the eyes and the ears of the audience represented on stage. Um, all the songs that you hear actually come from um, a wide variety of Stephen Sondheim shows, including um, Sunday in the Park with George, uh, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, Sweeney, Todd, uh, Company, and even the film Dick Tracy. And all the songs uh, from all those films and shows are completely reinterpreted um, to fit the uh, context of what's happening on stage with these five characters. It's, it's a fascinating, fascinating concept, isn't it? And, and, and it was a great... Um, I'm just reading, actually, that Julie, Julie Andrews was one of the original performers. Yes. In, in the original Broadway production. So it was, it was a big success, was it, when it, when it was first performed? Well, it was a tremendous success, and a lot of um, amazing people were, uh, have been involved in the show. That very cast of Julie Andrews premiering on Broadway. Another person in the cast, which surprised me, actually, is Christopher Durang, who's one of my favorite um, contemporary American playwrights. And he played the, the role of the narrator. Um, the, if people have seen uh, the, uh, the, the DVD published uh, version with, with Carol Burnett and uh, John Barrowman and, and uh, George Hearn, um, that, is the, that, that version is the Broadway revival. And um, our show is actually uh, more uh, closely linked to that, even though um, there will be there will be big differences between this and that, but this, um, the Broadway revival version, will be what our production is based on. So this is really a, a wonderful opportunity to get a, a, a representation of Stephen Sondheim. A, a kind of, sh a, a, it's a, a piece that sort of sho showcases perhaps the, the, some of the best of his his work over the years. Yes, uh, Stephen Sondheim has created a few um, uh, musical reviews such as this, as, and um, it's it's. It's a wonderful showcase for his talent because, um, you know, being not aside from just being one of the greatest American writers there ever has been, um, this show is uh, you people get to really listen to the mastery and uh, the technical artistry of his of his music, the the difficulty and and of of actually. Um, um, delivering them on stage because these are very technical songs at the same time they come so naturally as human speech the way he's written um so many of these songs that with with these nuances and syncopations they it's basically just listening to the characters speak but that's the music and um for those people who know Stephen Sondheim very well of course it's a great celebration of his work but to see them reinterpreted in these um in in these scenes it's actually quite a thrill to see how something from Sweeney Todd, a ballad um, uh, where the characters are, suppo uh, are supposedly about to kill each other, is reinterpreted into a, a very uh, 
fanciful and and uh, a fanciful uh, ballad in this version, where two men are talking about um, something that they completely adore and they're, um, yeah, they're idealizing their future with people in their lives. It's it's quite tremendous. And for people who don't know Stephen Sondheim's work, it's a yeah, it's a it's a great testament to what a great songwriter he is. That's and great. how natural it, um, the music seems to sound from an audience point of view. It's a great, in- great introduction to his work, isn't it, if, you're, if you don't know it? Absolutely, yeah. I, um, some people have jokingly called it his greatest hits on stage. <laughs> I wouldn't disagree, but it's actually a, um, it's also an, an emotional show. Um, um, as I said, there are only five characters in the show, and, uh, and because there are only five actors involved, and the, the Fringe Theatre is well known for its intimacy, it actually it seems to uh, sometimes becomes a very intense emotional connection between the audience and the characters on stage. Um, the 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 show itself is um it's it's all about his music, but the characters go through some very very difficult ups and downs that every member of the audience can relate to. You get to see people going through very different stages in their relationships, and um, either if you if you're someone who's married or never been married, if you've ever ever had uh, uh, ever fallen in love or had feelings for someone else or just not not sure what, what you're actually feeling when it comes to somebody else, there are moments in the show that you can absolutely relate to. And what, what, is, what is your role? I play the role of the younger man who is um, wooing this younger woman and they are both guests at this um, older couple's uh, beautiful home uh, over, over, over the course of a weekend. And, and you have some wonderful songs to sing. I am extremely, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled that um, I, I get to sing some wonderful songs that um, Sondheim writes, including um, Marry Me a Little, which is also for company, uh, Live and Only Like It, which is a song from the Dick Tracy film soundtrack, among others. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, there are some really thrilling pieces in this in the show. And how, how, what kind of journey has it been during the rehearsal process? It was a, a, a wonderful and thrilling ride, not so much just um, working with this talented cast and um, great creative team, uh, but it's also just, again, um, it's, it's a nice refreshment of your mind as to wh- how many great songs there are out there written by Stephen Sondheim. And um, he does have quite a following here in Hong Kong, so we're just extremely thrilled to be sharing this show with the public. And, and you, you, you mentioned that a talented cast, and it is, it is um, good to be reminded that there are some very talented uh, performers I- based in Hong Kong who have a background in this kind of music. Absolutely. Um, um, Michael Sharman and Sandra Leung Waters, who are uh, among the cast uh, members, um, they've been uh, quite prevalent in Hong Kong in the past few years. Olivier de Molina is also a prevalent uh, uh, opera singer in Hong Kong, and we get to see him explore the musical theater side of his voice in, in this show uh, more than he has ever done before. And um, uh, one of the people that uh, one of the people that the cast, uh, sorry, the audience might be very excited to watch is uh, Jacqueline Gourley Grant, who plays the older woman, and she's worked in Hong Kong uh, quite uh, quite a lot over the past. Uh, uh, probably decade. However, she's known for being behind the scenes as a musical uh, musical director in musicals and um, nurturing other cast members to prepare for their shows. But she herself is a fantastic singer and actress. And uh, so it's quite thrilling to see someone come out of their shell. And I, I'd like to say this is this is going to be quite a an eye opener for people who who haven't seen. The, this cast, and also because this is the Hong Kong premiere of the show, so we're extremely thrilled to be given the privilege to share this in Hong Kong for the very first time. Well, that, that's, uh, that's mouth-watering stuff, and, and you, you opened yesterday, and you continue yes. through until Saturday, 8 o'clock at the Fringe Theatre. Um, I have now queued up Barbara Streisand, actually. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and she's singing, she's been singing the, the title song, putting it together. Arvin, Arvin Robles, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you very much.